right, everybody. What's up? It's Thunder. Welcome back. Hope you guys all had a happy and safe Thanksgiving. But don't worry. If you ate too much, we're going to sweat it out. We're going to sweat it out with this gameplay. And oh my god, look at this flyover, dude. This is nice. So I'll give Sledgehammer Games all the props in the world for this. The flyovers and all the effects before the game start. Super cool, man. I love it. So anyway, guys, you're going to see this gameplay here on Point Duhawk. I'm using the bar. I'm using this BAR. And you might be asking why I'm using the BAR. Well, because I have to. I pretty much have to either use this or the PPSH. Maybe one or two other guns. But if I try and mess around and have fun in this game with, you know, some weird setups or, you know, a gun maybe I'm not comfortable with, I'll, I'll just get destroyed. And do you want to know why? Well, you guys are about to find out. I mean, look at this dude right here. Okay, so this dude's running the Iron Curtain Epic PPSH variant with Primed. These are the only, and Rapid Fire, of course. These are the only people I play against, dude. I mean, with the way the matchmaking is, now I already did my skill-based matchmaking sucks video. If you guys missed that, I'll link it down in the description, check it out. And a lot of people in the video, you know, they were feeling me. They agreed with everything I was saying. But then there's, of course, a bunch of guys who didn't agree with me and said, Oh, Thunder, you just don't want to play against people of your own skill level. I mean, look, what happens here? Look at this. Damn, look at all that murder. Oh my god, look at this dude. What? This dude goes flying off the top rope. Dude hops off the steps and just dumps on me. Let's see what setup he's using. This guy don't look like a noob to me. Ooh, another epic variant with primed. Epic STG variant with primed. See what I'm saying? So, <laughs> these are the only people I'm playing against. I pretty much have to go try hard and sweat. You don't have to load up on the Gamma Labs. Use code SWEAT for 10% off Gamma Labs. I pretty much have to sweat my ass off every single game. I can't play Call of Duty casually. Can't play it for fun. And for all you people saying I don't want to play against dudes my own skill level, hell no! Not every single game, dude. If I wanted to do that, I would go MLG, right? And I would play against the best of the best. I would play against dudes my own skill level all the time. But this game's pretty much forcing me to go MLG. I'm trying to keep it filthy casual up in here, baby. I want to fly around the map, flip my C4 sandwiches all over the place. I want to have fun. I don't want to play every single game tactically like I'm forced to do right here. Because so I'm going up against a whole team of prestiged up weapon variant prime sweats. I think there might be one dude in here who's not using prime. Wait a minute. Where's he at? Oh yeah, look at this dude. Look, look, this is where I have to play. I have to play tactically. You can't rush sweats. Chris Move said that back in a video one time. He's like, man, you cannot rush against sweats. And he's absolutely right. You gotta you gotta play I mean, unless you're in a full party, but if you're playing solo, you cannot rush sweats. You gotta like play tactically. You know, it's the only way to do it, man. And I see some activity on the left over here, so watch this. Look how fast this dude what? Where'd he go? Where the hell is this guy? Oh my what? Yo, look at the oh, another epic variant. Epic variant with inconspicuous. See what I'm saying, dude? Only sweats run inconspicuous, man. Inconspicuous is right up there with primed. Only sweats run this stuff. So if these are the only types of people I'm playing against in my lobby, man, how am I supposed to come out here with a just for fun class and mess around like I used to do back in the glory days of Call of Duty when it was just connectivity only that took precedence over skill-based matchmaking and all this other garbage matchmaking they put in here? You can't have fun in, in Call of Duty anymore, man. I mean, unless playing competitively is fun for you. And I'll admit, it's fun for me every once in a while, but not every game, man. This is pretty much every game for me in this game. Every game I've played since this game has dropped has pretty much been like this. I've never seen so many tight, like, 70 to 60 games of TDM ever. Now, look at some pro MLG head glitching right here. All these dudes are in there. I'm all by myself. None of my teammates are near me, so I'm not dumb enough to go rushing in there by myself and get killed. Especially when I only got 20 rounds in the clip. And I know there's a nerf coming for the bar to increase its recoil, but whatever. I mean, there's hardly any recoil on, on this gun right now. So what's more recoil going to do? So there you go, fellas. I just gave us the lead right there. Turning the tide with the MLG head glitching tactics. And look at it. Oh, the panic knife is definitely back, son. I told you guys. I told you guys the panic knife. That's another reason I love the bar. I mean, you can panic knife people. It's just a great, great weapon, honestly. So, you know, they're going to nerf it, but whatever. Who cares? It'll probably still be amazing. And we've done these dudes right down. This is the only way to play against sweats, man. This is not fun for me. Honestly. I'm not having fun right now. I'm gonna call in 
this uh this bomb right here and pick up a two-piece calling the care package but there you go pick up the game winning kill the game's gonna end uh, all right let's see what double kill gets play of the game here probably be a sniper headshot oh it's my boy jack finise this is actually a subscriber of mine he hit me up after the game said it was cool playing with me that's actually a nice play of the game jack that's a nice play of the game and that dude's an amazing player so luckily i had the, some sweats on my team too i had uh, i mean come on guy with skills I mean, you already know. With that gamer tag, <laughs> you, you already know. So we got guy with skills, me and Jack. Uh, look, taking on a whole team of uh, epic variant prestiged up players, man. I mean, what is that red icon? What prestige is that? Did I have fun in that last match? Hell no. That's not fun for me, dude. That's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down like Marshawn Lynch. I'm going to go Marshawn Lynch on the skill-based matchmaking. That is not fun for me. You guys want to see fun for me? Go look up my old Black Ops 2 and my Black Ops 1 videos where I'm dropping 40 and 50 kill TDMs. That's fun for me. This MLG shit, every once in a while, yeah, but every game, no. Definitely not fun for me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. You might not agree with everything I said here, but hey, man, it is what it is. It's how I feel, and uh, I got to keep it 100 with all you guys. So if you enjoyed this gameplay commentary, please don't forget to like it, share it, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.